everyone. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Miss Wenray and I'm the Head of Dance and Drama at FCC and I run the GCSE Dance course. So in this video I'm going to give you a little bit of information about what the course is about and what you need to do to get ready for the course in order to start in September. The course is split into three separate sections. Performance were 30%, choreography were 30% and theory were 40%. The performance unit is split into three different dances, two provided by the exam board and one created by you and me together. Choreography is one choreography put together by you, which is worth 30%. And the theory exam is split into three sections where you study professional pieces of dance work, evaluate your own work, and also come up with different theories and ideas about choreography and how to use the body within dance. On the GCSE dance course, it is absolutely vital to remember that this is a performance course and you are expected to perform throughout the two year course. This will come in the form of your exam performances, the four different exam pieces that you have to perform for examination. But it will also come in the form of our annual dance showcase where you will share those pieces of work and you can see some pictures and video footage from that on the screen now. We also perform at events like the Oxford Dance Festival, which takes place at the New Theatre in Oxford. We perform in the Christmas and summer concerts in the Leisure Centre for the whole school. And we also perform in other events and local dance festivals as well. So this is something you need to be prepared for. And if you come willing to do that, we will give you lots and lots of opportunities to perform and build your skills. I really enjoyed taking dance you to see as I'd learned different dance and styles while also improving my own choreography skills. My favourite part was being given the chance to perform in assemblies and showcases. Also, everyone is given equal opportunities to show their talents and personalities while performing. I liked the Dance GCSE course because I made lots of new friends along the way as well as getting the opportunity to perform at different venues like the Oxford New Theatre and the Dance Festival. It also allowed me to understand how dancers are put together and how they're performed on stage. There's also lots of cake involved. I would highly recommend taking dance GCC as it not only builds your dance technique, but helps with time management and stress relief. A highlight of mine was definitely going to Oxford Theatre to watch professional work, but having the opportunity to show our own pieces in showcases and at primary schools while leading our own sessions. As well as this, just the family unit and the support system that you gain as a result of taking the GCSE. I like doing dance because I feel it's the easiest way to express your emotions. Um, you get to create some amazing pieces which can express your personality and the different styles that you like to dance in. You become a really close family, which is the best. You also get to perform in front of different audiences, um, which can make some amazing memories. So what do you need to do in order to start the course in September and be ready for your dance GCSE? Well, what I want you to do is go online and have a look at lots of different types of dances that are out there. There's loads of video footage of professional dance works on dance company websites. There's also millions of videos of different pieces of dance on YouTube as well. What I would like you to do is have a look through as many different dance styles as you can and choose one piece of dance that you particularly like and when we start the course in September I want you to be able to share that piece of dance work with the class and explain to us why you like it, why you found it interesting and why you think it's a good piece of dance work. Along with that I would also like you to choreograph a solo which you will be ready to share with the class and start work on when we begin lessons in September. The dance can be in any style you like. On the GCSE dance course, we do study contemporary, but for this particular task, you can create it in tap, ballet, jazz, commercial, whatever it is that you want to go for. The dance only needs to be one minute long, but Time limits are really, really important on the GCSE course, so do stick to your one minute time allowance. 
If you've got any questions at all about the course or what you need to do to prepare, I'm more than happy to answer your questions. So please just ping me an email on my school account and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, I hope you enjoy preparing for the course and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing you in September and getting started.